welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He's good all of the time and worthy to be praised. He's the Most High God, El Elyon, El Che, the living God who loves you with a true agape love. He wants to pour that love into your heart, write it on your mind, and keep your heart and mind in perfect peace. He is with us. He promised to never leave us nor forsake us. He will be with us all the way to the end. And all we have to do is keep ourselves in God's love. Taking all of our cares, casting them before him. Acknowledging him in all of our ways. And, and that means any way that we think, any way that we feel, any ev each and every way that we could possibly be. And wherever we are in the day and in the night, whether you're laying on your pillow or walking around and doing life today, glory to God in the highest. He's with you and in you. He's to you and through you. He's given us his spirit. It, it, his spirit never takes a break. God never sleeps. He doesn't slumber. He's right there in the midst of us. The Lord is our life. He's our life. He is the life. The life is living in us. Yes, there's a very real enemy in this world, and there's a flesh that we have to deal with. But we take this flesh and we bring it before the Lord to be crucified. I like what it says in Galatians chapter 5 when it talks about the nature of God. The Holy Spirit is bringing the nature of God. out in us and it says here verse 25 no verse 24 and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with all with the affections and the lust and lust if we live in the spirit let us also walk in the spirit the spirit is producing the nature of God in us so that we're able to have um, <clears throat> so that we're able to walk the way Jesus walked in this earth so that we're able to be the way that the Lord is see the Lord's heart for us is the here's the fruit of the spirit let me just say it the spirit the spirit of love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness and self control meekness is just power under control is not weakness it's power it's mean, meaning that you could have done something about that situation but you heard the voice of the Lord and you were still <laughs> huh? you you did according to the way the Lord would have you do you prayed for that situation rather than just giving that person some money you know so they can go feed that habit you, you prayed about that that motorcycle accident over there rather than you know worrying about it and, and and hurting over it and and just going on past it you went and you helped the neighbor who who was down and out and this, there somebody just passed away you you got a card out and you wrote some sentiment in it and and gave them strength in a time of need you didn't just you know overlook it but we look to the lord and we are like him in every way because see, he's in us the life of god is in us the love of god is in us the kindness of the lord is in us even the holiness of the lord is in us the one who will keep our heart and mind in perfect peace i'm telling you we have rest for our soul because see we don't live according to the way we used to live we don't live according to the pattern of this world anymore they simply love themselves even if they're depressed they trust their own strength rather than the strength of God we trust the one who made the heaven and the earth the one who sent his son so that we could be come into his house and be made right with him Jesus made us right with him I have to say that again because we look at our own, our own strength so much that we fall short again of God's mercy, of God's grace, of his love for us. He's the one who is great. We were the ones scooped from the dust to the ground. 
We're the ones that he blew his breath in and wanted us to become like him. He made us in his image. And how much more so if we receive the Son. Jesus Christ is in us and to us and through us. God is in us and to us and through us. The Holy Spirit is in us, to us and through us. And for those who like to preach things like, how can Jesus, how can God fit inside of a person? God is spirit. God is spirit. And when we see him, we'll know everything. No, not everything, but we'll know what we need to know. <laughs> we'll know what we need to know. But the way that he is, he's him, and he created the world and all that there is in it. My eyes aren't settled on this physical body or on the physicalness of this world nor on the attitudes of mankind. My eyes are on the one who loves us, who created all life. Seen yet not seen, heard yet not heard, God created it. And he's got, he made it all for a purpose. As long as we keep coming to him and pouring out our heart before him and taking up what he said and saying that, everything's going to work together for your good. We just have to keep ourselves in agreement with him and as hard as that may be with the things that come against the knowledge of God in our lives greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world you're acknowledging the Lord in all things and becoming more and more conformed to the Son we don't want to be conformed to the image of the world the image of the world is self it acknowledges that it, 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 its acknowledgement is in its own strength. Our acknowledgement is in the strength of the Lord God Almighty in whom there is nothing too hard for him. There's nothing impossible for him. He gives, he, we are strengthened by the Son of God. We look to the one in whom we've been forgiven of all of our sins because of his blood because of his name and what he went to what he accomplished going to that cross dying and rising again we have life because of him but not by anything that we've done what we did is we fell in love with the one who created the world and all that there is in it we fell in love with the son that he sent to save us so all of our strength comes from the Lord all of our hope comes from the Lord. He's resting in us and, and we need he's I mean he's in us and we need to rest in him. You know, I feel a fast coming on. You know, I feel a, a need to empty the gut. <laughs> the Lord is with us and in us and to us and through us. He the Lord is the the life. Live in Christ today. Don't lean on your own understanding. Pray for those who hurt you. Even if they hurt you in the past, please pray for them. Let them go for your sake. That they're not that mental stronghold in your mind creating a block so that a stronghold can grow and grow and grow and you can't get into that place, into that secret place with God and do a greater work in this earth. Be released from the power of the enemy by coming into the true knowledge and the, into the true nature of the Holy One. Because He wants to fill your heart and mind with perfect peace. He wants you to live in your heart with rest in your soul. Because we're going to do great work right here, right now. Hmm? Now, I want to see you in heaven. I don't want to see any one of us thrown out into outer darkness because we didn't prepare ourselves for this great wedding feast that we're that we're joined, you know, we're going to be in. Because we said yes to the Lord, we we we're espoused to Him. Hmm? He, he's your what is it, fiance? And we're supposed to make ourselves ready by getting dressed, and we get dressed in this word and the knowledge of who God is, and that knowledge enters your heart. And that knowledge gets in your mind. 
and the Holy Spirit is working in you and you're you by 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 us coming we're washing our robe out in the Word of God we're washing our soul out in the Word of God and we're getting the knowledge of who he is and what we are and we're being strengthened and learning how to live and breathe and walk and talk in this life because we're in his love we're in him the Lord knows how to take you and work everything out together for your good. We take every care we have. We put it before the Lord because these are the roadblocks. These are the bumps in the way. Fear is a bump. It's in the way. But don't let fear have you. Let God's love have you. <clears throat> Perfect love. Cast out fear. Fear has torment. It's going to torment your mind. The past will torment your mind. What people think of you will torment your mind. How you look and how you feel will torment your mind. But you are, uh, you have been made by God and for God. Whatever thing didn't develop in your life, don't worry about that. Cast it before the Lord and learn, get in Him. When we acknowledge who He is, when we learn who He is, there's nothing about your physical appearance and nothing that this world can say that will separate you from the love of, that God has for you. And that, is an, that love is so infectious, it gets down into your heart and all you want to do is live for the Lord. See, our life is not destined to just this earthly planet that we're walking on right now. This is all temporary. We have life with Him forever. I gotta go. But trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding for anything. Cast all of your care before the Lord because he cares for you. He's right there, ready to work everything out for our good. If we would just come into the secret place right here with him and, and take knowledge of him. He's your, he's your covering. He's got you. He'll comfort your heart and mind. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson at Get the Word in Your Face International. Get the Word in Your Face. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Because He loves you. Let's be ready. Bye-bye.